If you hear background noise, I apologise, I'm currently in the car, but I just realised I forgot to film this or explain. So here it is. But anyways, happy 1st of January, happy new year, happy Monday, happy fresh start. It's of course the first day of 2024. I can't believe how quickly 2023 actually went. I just can't believe it. It literally came and gone in the blink of an eye. Um, it was an amazing year filled with so many travels and memories and opportunities. I did things that I was hoping I would do, which is amazing. I've come out of another year happy and healthy with all of my loved ones and it's been amazing and I cannot wait for 2024. So that brings me to now. If you haven't watched my videos before, towards the end of last year, kind of from October to now, I started testing the waters a little bit with content and YouTube. If you don't follow my TikTok, it will be here. I do actually post on TikTok. I'm a 22 year old flight attendant. I live in Bournemouth in the South Coast and I tend to post my kind of cabin crew layovers and vlogs on TikTok and obviously Instagram as well. And I love it. I've always wanted to do content creation. I have grown up in that kind of YouTube era and then it turned into TikTok era and that's why I started posting on there first. But I absolutely love YouTube and as cringe as it sounds, I've always wanted to do YouTube. Hence why I started testing my foot in the water towards the end of last year from filming YouTube, editing YouTube, even making thumbnails. I've been teaching myself the ropes in hopes that I can officially enter my YouTube era in 2024. That brings us to now and this is the start of my weekly vlog, week in the life of a cabin crew or Molly Haynes era. I plan to, hopefully if I stick to it, show you more of me, my life, my life as a cabin crew, my layovers, my days off, and just kind of like the raw moments of cabin crew, whether that be kind of loneliness or boredom or being away from home as well as the amazing opportunities that is being cabin crew when it comes to traveling and meeting amazing people and doing amazing things i hope to show you all of it if you follow me on tiktok obviously i do more kind of specific vlogs in detail and it's really hard they're really fast paced i have to fit a whole cabin crew layover into about two or three minutes worth of footage for tiktok and do a voiceover so i feel like you're not really there with me it's very fast paced and the very quick youtube is going to be more if you just want to chill spend a week in the life have a breather and sit down and watch and if you have any questions about the cabin crew then hopefully my videos will answer some questions you can always message me on instagram anyway but that is what i hope my youtube is going to be so hopefully i can get into that and hopefully you enjoy it I feel like I've rambled for way too long now, but basically this is Monday, the 1st of January. I'm gonna vlog this week as a week in my life. And I hope that it will go up kind of next Monday and vice versa, which we'll just keep going and going and going, continuing. So yeah, as for this week, we do have exciting things coming up with work obviously being cabin crew. I have a very exciting Tokyo trip. I've never been to Tokyo and I cannot wait for it. It's New Year's Day today. Usually my mum makes a massive roast dinner, almost like a second to Christmas day. But all of us have been so busy. I've just got back from Maldives. I did in fact take Jack, my boyfriend, who sat right there. So we haven't really stopped. We've been home about two days and we haven't really stopped. My parents landed back from Edinburgh last night. They went there for, I think, two nights. So we haven't really stopped. So we've just got up this morning, had a Mackey's breakfast, watched some movies, watched Gardens of the Galaxy. I love that one. Um, and now we've gone back to my house to get ready. And now we're on the way to the cinema. We are going to watch Anyone But You. And I'm really looking forward to it. It looks amazing. So that's what we're doing now. It's currently 2 p.m. Our film is booked for three-ish. So we're gonna do that and then go back to my house later. My mum's gonna make everyone a katsu curry. And that's pretty much it for today. So hopefully you enjoy today and this week as a week in my life as camera crew. now about quarter past seven in the evening as you can see i've got a bit of a mess behind me i'm trying to pack for work i don't know why i just seem to be a terrible packer recently like when i first started flying almost two years ago now i was so good at packing i always had really nice outfits for each destination now i just can't seem to pack i'm off to tokyo tomorrow i do tend to leave it last minute i always pack as i'm leaving about half an hour before once my hair and makeup's done, I just chuck everything in a case and go. So maybe that's my issue. But obviously, it's New Year's Day. I have to leave home about 7 a.m. for my... Ugh. 7 a.m. tomorrow for about a 10 a.m.-ish report. 
I commute down from Bournemouth to Heathrow. So I always leave about three hours in advance. So obviously I need to pack in advance. So that's what I'm doing now. Well, I'm struggling. I always check the weather when I'm packing, obviously, because I usually pack the day before or as I'm going, depending on what time I have to leave home. The weather at the moment is saying it's like 13 degrees and sunny, and then it's also changing and saying it's grey and cloudy and cold. So with that being said, obviously I don't really know what to pack. So I'm having a bit of an issue at the moment. We're gonna try and figure it out. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Let's go. So I've got my trusty topper and then I've got my case. Okay, hopefully that doesn't fall. As I mentioned, I'm trying to fit in many cold and warm outfits in literally my topper and my case. So this isn't going well. I've got my dear boyfriend sat there not helping. But I have a very strategic way of packing. I've got my wardrobe in front of me. I kind of just work my way through. I start in each drawer and just take out what I think. I don't really plan outfits. I just take what I think I need. So yeah, let's go from there and see what we do. Okay, okay. So I've changed some more comfy clothes. And also I can't like the bottoms I had on. I want to take to Tokyo and I had them on today. So I had to quickly take them off. But I've gotten some basic tops together and basic tops basic clothes together that i think i'm gonna take with me obviously i've got some other stuff to pack like underwear socks that kind of boring stuff but this is the clothes i've got and i need to kind of crack on because i need to pack now get my uniform ready take my makeup off etc etc so i can just go to my boyfriend's and finish watching guardians of the galaxy ain't that right jack Ain't that, right? Ain't that right? So let's go, let's pack. I think that we're going to Disney. So I've got not one, not two, but three selection of ears that I think really go with the jumper. I've worn these recently and these ones I've yet to wear. And I do know one of the crew members on the trip and I think we're gonna do Disneyland and Disney Sea. So, I mean, why wouldn't I take them, you know? So they will go in my case. I'll put them in in a second. If you're wondering why I'm folding these so weird as well, when I pack, I like to do things in a roll technique. A crew member taught me about this on a Washington trip ages ago, and she said that she rolls all of her clothes, and I've done it ever since, and it helps. I do it even when I check in a case and everything. I roll. <laughs> and I've taught my boyfriend to do it. I've taught my friends and family to do it. Like, it works so well. I did want to pack a gym gear, because obviously, being new year and all, I did want to try and get to the gym, but it's in the wash. I don't know why, because I haven't been in the gym any time recently, so I don't know why my gym top is in the wash. And the fact that I literally have one gym top, I think speaks for itself, but I really wanted to try and get to the gym. Although to be honest, we're only in Tokyo, I think for like 48 hours. Obviously it's a long trip, long flights. I'll probably be too tired. So I might rule the gym out on this trip, just this trip though. I've taught myself to not overpack so much to the point that I actually underpack now. That's becoming a problem because I get on trips and I think I've got plenty of clothes and I think, oh my goodness, I have nothing to wear. Although to be honest, if I take this and leggings, I'll probably just chill in that the whole time. I don't know. And I know we are pretty much like 99% sure we're going to Disney so I can just wear jeans, my pink jumper, little ears and trainers can't really go wrong with that i think i think that's good good morning it's the next day now and i've just gotten ready i'm about to get changed and drive into work i need to get some fuel on the way as well i report at 10 i think 10 past 10 and it's currently about 10 past 7 so i need to go so i can get fuel get changed and stuff and go on the way but today i'm off to take you i'm very excited well hello from Tokyo. <laughs> I don't know when I last filmed, it might have been this morning, but I have officially landed in Tokyo. I can't believe I'm even saying those words. Tokyo is somewhere that I have always wanted to visit since, honestly, since I was about 12 years old. <laughs> Ever since Tokyo Drift came out and I watched Tokyo Drift with my dad, I was like, I'm going to Tokyo. And I'm finally here. Obviously we're not staying right in the middle of Tokyo, but I've just landed. Hence why 
I look a bit, you know, a bit tired. Anyway, we left home at, well, to put it into, to, oh, I'm so tired, I can't speak, put it into perspective. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. UK time and I left home about 10 past seven. I got to work and my briefing was at 10 past 10. There was a slight delay due to an unfortunate incident which happened in Tokyo Haneda Airport, which maybe you've seen it, maybe you've not. So we were slightly delayed because of that and due to other factors. And then we landed at, in Japanese time, we landed at, I think 11 a.m. Not too much later than we had anticipated. So I've gotten back to my room and the plan was to have a quick body shower, try and sleep for a couple hours and then go out with the crew. The crew are lovely. By the way, we've got some immense plans for this trip. But for some reason, I just couldn't sleep. So I've taken off my skin makeup. I have left on what's left of my eyebrows and what's left of my mascara just to look somewhat put together because I don't want to put more makeup on after that flight as I haven't makeup on for so long. And yeah, so as I was saying, I couldn't sleep. It is now 20 past one in the afternoon UK time. 20 past one in the afternoon Tokyo time, which means it's 20 past four in the morning, I think, in UK time. So nearly 24 hours of being awake and I'm gonna go for a little walk with the crew. The crew are angels, they're so lovely. And I think a group of us are gonna go for a walk now, but that's where I'm at, at the moment. I've literally just got on a hoodie, the same one I think I was packing in yesterday. It's just comfy, okay? I need to be comfy. My hair, I've not brushed it, but um, I wear my hair in a plait bun for work. So I've taken out, it looks a little bit beachy. It will do. Just got some flares on, so that you can see. But I've got some flares on, some trainers, and that's the plan. So that's why I look a little bit not with it, but it'll honestly do. And I'm excited to see what Tokyo has to offer got some very exciting plans for tomorrow which I can't wait for but yeah that's it at the moment and in Tokyo obviously no one's awake at home so I've not spoken to my family um, I obviously messaged them and my partner so I've just let them know that I'm here and I'm safe but yeah that's it I'll just quickly little show you a few glimpses of the room as well obviously I won't show you all of it but just to show you some of this back. very cute I won't show you too much but it's very beige very pretty but the main part of it for me is this balcony. Oh, it's incredible. It's gorgeous, such a lovely view. Anyway, I think the crew are ready downstairs in reception. So I'm gonna go meet them. And yeah, let's go. I'll try and get as much kind of little footage as I can. But yeah, very excited, let's go explore. just gone so it's about 11 no yeah it's just gone 11 a.m uk time i've been up since 6 30 uk time yesterday so i've been up for a very long time i did of course on the flight over here i did of course have a decent amount of time to rest i couldn't sleep unfortunately i was just wide awake i think i mentioned that earlier but yeah Finally got my room, you saw, would, would have seen a little snippet of what I got up to on my first day here today in Tokyo. It's absolutely gorgeous. We didn't go into city centre, we kind of wandered around where we're located. Just as gorgeous and the whole time I was walking around like, I can't believe I'm in Japan. <laughs> Filmed a day in the life which will be up on my TikTok, I'll put that down here. It's always in my description down below. I feel like a proper YouTuber. But it'll be in my description down below so please feel free to check that out. Just had a lovely bath in my skincare, that's why I'm looking like the shining star. Anyways, I'm just in bed now. And yeah, gonna watch some YouTube, I think. I am very tired, but I always like to just get in bed and unwind before I go to sleep. I do need to put my hair in curlers though. As I would have mentioned, I've got a very exciting day tomorrow. I think I've told you already so many times already anyway, and you'll probably guess, but 
my throat's starting to go because I'm so tired. I've just guzzled a load of Coke Zero and water because I'm trying to drink more water. But yeah, I'm going to hit the hay, I think. I've got my little buddy with me. He travels everywhere with me. If you watch my TikToks, he's always in them. Good morning. It is a special day today and I need to get ready for it. It's currently half six local time, as in Japan time, and I need to get ready. I need to be downstairs in the lobby for about 10 past seven-ish. Wow, I look great, don't I? <laughs> I didn't expect for us to get so close so soon on this channel, but you know what it is. Just how it is. I don't use heat in my hair anyways, but obviously as a crew, it's kind of a faff to bring around hair straighteners and curlers and stuff, so this little bad boy is gonna have to do. Slow. So as I mentioned, it's an important day. It's D-Day, it's Disney Day. And we're off. Obviously we're going to Disneyland and Disney Sea Tokyo, so I've got my sea themed. You know, these are only from Primark and I've been yet to wear them. So very excited. My outfit has changed about 50,000 times today. Got on just a cheap Primark Disney rucksack I use it all the time. I use it on Orlando if you've watched those vlogs. Got on some leggings. <laughs> you see, scarf. I'm basically wearing all black leather jacket. It's not particularly something I would usually wear to Disney, but it's comfy and it's cold. And I really have to go. <laughs> so, as usual, I'll get some little snippets for you. Um, but yeah, let's go. last thing you would have seen was the last thing you would have seen was my disney clips actually so yesterday wow it was an amazing day we did disney sea which has been on my bucket list for a very long time i love the little mermaid and all things like adventure and ocean and sea and obviously disney i love and so that park was just it was amazing and there was amazing, do you know what, I was, before I came here, I was worried about what I would eat in general. I have very childish taste buds. I would, I am what you would call a beige eater. <laughs> I pretty much only eat beige foods, but the food here is amazing. And in Disney as well, they had these really cool alien mochi, seashell ice cream that was like sea salt flavor and all of the food was just amazing. I'm just gonna wipe that off quickly because I feel like I look like I've had no lips. <laughs> That's a bit better. Um, but yeah, so when I came in last night, I got to sorry, I'm doing my makeup at the same time because I don't really have much time. And I remembered I forgot to vlog this morning that I got in from Tokyo Disneyland's so we started off in Disneyland, went over to Disney Sea, finished Disney Sea, and then went back over to Disneyland. Um and I can't remember how much I would have got, but I would have put in here, you would have seen it. And we got in quite late. I think we got to the room just before 11ish at night, something like that. And I was cream crackered. I was so tired, but 
I made a mistake. I slept for about 10 minutes. That's all it was. 10 minutes in the Uber on the way back to the hotel. And that done me dirty because my body was like, okay, right, I've had a little quick cat nap or whatever it is. I'm ready to go again. You've recharged me quite subtly because sometimes all you need is 10 minutes to recharge, you know? And so then I couldn't let sleep until about 2, 2.30 in the morning. And yeah, I got up this morning at about, I think 8.30. I went over to McDonald's, got myself a breakfast, ate that in my room. And then I was like, right, I'll start getting ready. Currently about 10 o'clock, my wake up call is 10.40 and pick up is 11.40. So if you don't know what that means, I get a call an hour before we're picked up just to remind me. And then we get picked up to go to the airport and operate the flight home. I am very sad this trip is over. I've had a lovely crew, a lovely time. I have fallen in love with Tokyo and I can't wait to come back. I'm going to be coming back here in a few weeks, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. That should be a special trip as well. But yeah, I just love this place. The only problem is that obviously we are very far east. I don't know why. I always struggle going like forward in time. If I go east, I can never sleep. Give me a west coast any day where you're like eight hours behind or even east coast five hours behind. I always get good night's sleep in America. Obviously, when I first started flying, I didn't used to, but now I really do. And whenever I go east, I just cannot sleep very well for the life of me but I'm sure the more far east trips I do because I've not done many as I've been flying I'm sure the more I do the more I'll get used to it in that kind of front I am excited to get back <laughs> to UK get some nice sleep um also I get the weekend off when I go home we have three days off after a Tokyo at my airline um so I'm very excited it's a weekend and I'm gonna be celebrating my boyfriend's birthday but that was just a quick little update for you I'm gonna finish get ready I need to do my hair and pack my stuff Work the flight home, so I probably won't update you until I'm home now. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry to jump scare you, but it is now, if you've not gathered, the 6th of January, coming at you from my bathroom at home. I can't remember what the last thing would have been that you've seen. Sorry, I can't take myself seriously. The last thing you would have seen was, I think when I was leaving Tokyo. To home, obviously it was a long old flight. It was near enough 15 hours. And that's just a flight time. Not, you know, on the way to the airport or the, my commute home from the airport. So I got home in Bournemouth at about, I think half 10-ish or maybe a little bit before. And then I passed out with my makeup still on, which I try not to do on landing days, about, 11 p.m. and then I got up at 9 a.m. this morning. I'm feeling fresh, but I just got a shower. I've got a hair mask on, washed my hair. I've had to put a face mask on because I had my makeup on for like two days and my skin was starting to flare up. Obviously, as they do an aircraft, so I've put on a nice face mask. I've got my Laneige lip mask on. I've got my little cloud Udi. <laughs> I really am putting myself out there on this channel, but you know. So I'm feeling a lot fresher. I don't feel tired or anything. Obviously it's a Saturday and I'm gonna get ready to go out. It's Jack's, it's my boyfriend's birthday on the 9th of January and I'm not going to be here as I'm going to be in New York or flying to New York early in the morning. So we're gonna have a birthday weekend this weekend. So I think we're gonna go out for dinner tonight, go to a cinema and whatever. But at this current moment in time, I'm gonna just dry my hair, take my face mask off, put some makeup on, and I need to unpack. So I'm gonna go and unpack now from Tokyo, and I've got a few little bits I wanna show you I bought because they're just so cute, and I want to show you. So let's unpack. Right, <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a little haul of what I picked up in Tokyo because I picked up some really cute bits, and it was just so cheap. Can you see my little dog's face? Bless him. I've got my laundry basket out, shoes everywhere. I'm in the process of cleaning my room. And obviously I'm packing and please ignore how I'll grow my nails are. Desperate to get them done. I'm going to get them done Monday, it's Saturday now. But obviously over the New Year's and Christmas, it was really hard to find a nail shop open. And my one wasn't open and I love their little gel. So anyways, the first thing I got was this cute little Sully headband. Where I recently got bangs cut, I find it really hard to do my skincare and my makeup without it getting in the way. 
Um, and I just thought it was really cute. I'm obsessed with the colour blue and like fluffy little monster things and little horns. I just think it's so cute. So like in the US, this would have been about $20. Guys, these were, I can't remember in yen, but these were about £6 from Disney Tokyo Land. Tokyo Disneyland, so it was a bargain. This mask has fallen off. I'm going to have to like take this off in a minute, but it's doing my skin some good. So please ignore how I look. Next thing I got was some more like ears. How cute are these? What are you laughing at? I didn't realise, but when I went there, it was the 40th anniversary of Disneyland Tokyo. And this was their theme. It was like all pastel colours, iridescent stuff. And it was beautiful. It was very pretty compared to the Disney 100. I don't really like that theme. So I got these. These were £12. I've got a gorgeous bow, sequin ears. On the back, it says 40 dream go round. That was like the slogan for the anniversary. And then I've got a little Tinkerbell on the side. Dream go round there. And then obviously Tokyo Disneyland. I had to pick up some ears while I was there as I don't know if or when I'll go back. These were 12 British pounds. That is cheap. I cannot believe that. It's even cheaper than like Etsy homemade ones. Then I, was fr I wasn't like going there with the hopes of buying a jumper, but it was freezing and I had to buy one. So I picked up this Tokyo Disneyland. It's very plain. I don't know if you can see, it's like embroidered 3D text. It says Tokyo Disneyland with a little logo. Oversized fit. Very, very comfy. Again, anywhere else, any other Disneyland in the world would probably be so expensive. This was £30. And I love it. I slept in it that night in Tokyo. I got it for the park because I was cold. I'll probably wear it to chill in um, and pyjama top. And it's just so bloody cute. And then just from the shops there, I got little... Japanese sweets. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of like blueberry cola bottle, which looks nice. And then I got some like chocolate pandas. So I'm going to snack on those. But I didn't get loads of stuff from the city because I'm going back to Tokyo in a few weeks and hopefully going to go into the city and get more stuff there. So it's mainly Disney stuff. But I just wanted to show you because they are so cute. Okay, now I'm going to start getting ready, properly unpacking, and then spending the weekend with my boyfriend. Oh, this it's annoying me now, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> that looks silly. But yeah, so let's go get ready. Hi, <laughs> it's a bit later on in the day now, it's 20 past four. Even though it looks about 6.30 at night, that's why I hate all winter in the UK, it's so dark. Anyway, um, bit of a change of plans. We were gonna go for a lovely Miller and Carter for dinner and then, sorry, it's really beeping. We we're gonna go for a lovely Miller and Carter for dinner and then kind of see where the night took us, but we're just not feeling it. We want to be in our sweats. We've got comfy sweats on. Um, we're going to go for Nando's and we're going to go and watch the Wonka film. Now, one thing about me is I actually am terrified of... Oh, Charlie. Charlie at the Chocolate Factory. Honestly, saying it, it's... Ugh, I hate it. Such a scary film to me. I just don't like it. I do like Timothy Chalamet and I do really like the way that this film looks. I don't think it's going to be kind of creepy. It's just going to be more like fantasy and colorful and cute. So we're gonna give that a go. Hey, it is again, once again, the next day. It is Sunday today. It's currently just gone 10.30. We had a little bit of a lion. Actually, tell a lie. I fell asleep at about 8 p.m. last night. The last thing I said we were doing is going for dinner and watching Wonka. Wonka was such a good film, wasn't it, Jack? It was like, as I mentioned, I am quite terrified of Willy Wonka or like, the other one, the original one, and this one was really fun. We got Nando's, which was really nice. Tried the new mac and cheese, it was okay. Um, but yeah, it was a nice evening. I went back home, well, to Jack's house, and I was asleep by 8 p.m. I was just so tired. Where I've been far east, obviously Tokyo, I've been going to bed early and waking up early. So I was actually up at 5 a.m. this morning. So I did get a good sleep. Jack obviously wasn't awake, so he had a lion. I stayed in bed until he woke up because I didn't want to disrupt his sleep. And I was just chilling on my phone. I was actually editing this video or making a start on editing this video. And that was it. And then my parents messaged me and said, oh, we're going to breakfast at the local garden center. Would you like to come? And yeah, we've got no plans. So that's where we're currently going. I quickly put on some makeup and we are going to the garden center. Another thing I did last night was I slept in my makeup because I fell asleep so early. I had another night in my makeup, which I'm not happy with. So I had a good old cleanse this morning, put some more makeup on just to go out. But I think I need a couple of days about makeup now. But yeah, gonna go have some breakfast. And yeah, that's it for today. I think that's all we've got planned, really. Might go for a walk after, we'll see. Buddy! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> 
me and Skirt just want to say a final goodbye, a final check-in for this weekly vlog this week. You would have just seen, we ended up going for breakfast, which was what I was telling you we were going to do. And then, wow, I actually look kind of oily. After breakfast, um, my parents and we decided to go for a beach walk. And then when we're out for a beach walk, we were like, oh, we've already had breakfast. So there's no point getting lunch. Why don't we get something sweet? And we went to Sprinkles and got a biscuit of crepe and it was gorgeous. And yeah, so I've just come back to my boyfriend's house. We're gonna watch some films and just chill. Like I said, I'm away for his birthday next week. So just spending every minute we can possible together and we're gonna watch some films. Not really hungry right now, obviously, as we had a big breakfast and a massive pancake. But later on, we were talking about maybe sharing a curry from the Indian as it is birthday weekend, so. But yeah, if you made it this far through my weekly, my first ever weekly vlog, then thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like this video and comment any other things that you'd like me to do, whether that's cabin crew related or just me related. Any video ideas on this channel, it's mainly going to be weekly vlogs. So if you have anything that you'd like me to do, please comment or my Instagram DMs are always open for any questions about my cabin crew job. I'll give you as much information as I can without giving away any information that's sensitive to my airline and my colleagues. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much for making it this through, making it far this through making it this far through i don't know it's been a long week and yeah i'm probably gonna post this this evening on sunday or maybe tomorrow maybe this evening so it's pretty much all edited i will start vlogging from tomorrow for the next weekly vlog so stay tuned for that one it's gonna be a very good exciting one again and yeah so thanks for watching and i will see you next week